take a look at your screen now and what you see is um, some part of a chat I've had with a, an old client based in Kotonou. It's somebody that I had quite an extensive, uh, quite extensive business interactions with. In, I've had a lot of interactions with him in Kotonou. And the young man, actually somebody that actually succeeded in business, um, having grown up as an orphan, very driven entrepreneur. Anyway, so um, based on my plans, I reached out to him. What you see, this is an entire, an entire conversation in French, of course. And the goal here, looking at the title of this video, is to just show you how being bilingual or probably multilingual, depends on you, um, can open doors of opportunities for you that normally would not be available to most other people. So sometimes you're able to, without even physically making any movement, you can actually cross the border um, electronically or is it digitally and still be able to reap financial rewards and other benefits, and which is what I do every now and then. I do it all the time. So I told him, I'm very, I'm very undocumented. I'm going to send you a document. I will send you a document later today. All right. And he replied, okay, bonjour, cher ami. J'espère que tu te portes meilleur, mes Um Then I tell him, c'est un service qui j'ai fourni ici à des clients sélectionnés pour constituer mon réseau. Uh, quand je viens à Cotonou, je vous propose et je collaborerai uh, pour l'offrir en anglais et en français aux propriétaires d'entreprises au Bénin. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Or qu'est-ce que tu penses? And the thing is this. What I'm basically saying to him here is that I have a new offer, kind of a new service that I provide and that I would like to present to our target audience in Bene. And I was asking him what did he think of it. So I sent him the PDF. The first PDF is one PDF here is in French and the other one, this one, is in English. Okay, I think I should be able to show you both of them. Um, I'll be able to open them. Let me see if I can open both documents all right so um, this is the English version of the PDF all right and then the other one so in the next tab is the French version so what I've done is to do a translation and of course um, as I tell people this and you don't have to become a professor or something the goal is not for you to become some kind of academic and expert in, in the language the thing is to have functional competence in other words you can you can successfully interact and communicate in the language written um, spoken and in, in, in sorry in writing in speaking and in reading you understand and that means you can interact anywhere in through any channels and once you can do that functionally just you're you are functionally literate in the language that's what you need to interact successfully whether in business or in general society you know and that's what i have and i have access to the resource i understand one of the there's a definition of education that being educated is actually means that it doesn't mean you know everything but even when you find out there are things you don't know you know what to do to address the or to, to solve that problem of things you do not know you know where to go to get knowledge or information to address whatever you do not know how to do or you do not know about you know, that's what it means to be an educated person it's not like an educated person is a person that knows everything so that's it you, you you understand how to use a language and you know where to what to do and where to go if you have limitations using the language and that's what i do with french so i'm able to use all kinds of resources and tools to um enable myself make intelligent and successful use of the french language and other languages as well that i i have interest in so and i use this quite competently and my interactions prove that so anyway he said c'est une bonne proposition et je pense que ça va marcher ça m'intéresse aussi uh, quand tu seras là on va en parler um, basically what he said there is that uh, it's a great idea and uh, that he thinks it will work you know i asked him what did he think uh, that's when i said qu'est-ce que tu penses um, he said he, he, it's interesting also now that's something i was expecting because of my interactions with him this is what i was saying about building relationships we've been interacting for years you know but i've i've understood him i've done business with him i've interacted with him extensively so i know that what i said to, what i say all the time in my videos about someone knowing the person's hot buttons i know the things that he wants he's a business owner he runs his own company so i know the kind of things he's looking for he's a person that's very keen 
on using the English language to do what he does. But beyond that, he's keen on using technology for marketing. You know, so I understood that he would be interested in this. All right. So I then told him, yeah, that I was expecting that he would also be interested. Uh, I said, take time to look through Penelope, Bakuri, uh, je, je suis fatigué en ce moment et j'ai travaillé, j'ai travaillé toute la nuit sur un travail client. Et puis je me suis souvenu que je devais envoyer le, docu le document. Uh, what happened here? I was saying here that uh, then, um, I had already anticipated that he would be interested. And then I told him take take the time to read through. And I, I told him I, I'm a bit tired. So when I was writing, this was yesterday at 6:37 p.m. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. I was working. I was preparing to work, and I have worked all night. Um, so I told him take time to look through. Uh, I'm a bit tired now, and I worked all night on a client's job. And I'm I'm talking about when I was talking to him yesterday. I had actually worked from Saturday. I'm actually having pain in my eyes now, but I've achieved my goals anyway. So I told him, then I remember that, ah, I need to send you this document. I had talked to him about it before, you know. So, um, so I sent him some other stuff and then, uh, just not to waste time. Okay. Yeah, I did this. This is a video. Like I said, I want, it's a partnership. We've done things together before. So this is just something we're taking it to the next level. So I did a video. Um, that's something that I'm not going to bother to show, but he, like, look at what time we were communicating this is at 12 48 a.m that i send this video to him and he responds at 2 29 note that this gentleman on his profile actually says he's open 24 hours and in Benet, if somebody tells you that don't think he's joking around because in Benet, i told you i've told many of you who've interacted with me you can actually move around even at 3 a.m i did that a lot when i for my first year the over there so it's something i i like to let people know understand that it has direct benefits to the economy and to the lives of the, of the people who are who are living there in the society think of this guy is able to function on 24 hour basis because he has electricity also because he's into technology 